All right. Hey, trig class. Um, we're going to be doing lesson 20, which is new material, and uh, we're going to be using it the rest of the year. It comes up a lot. So um, this lesson is on two special triangles. We learned those special triangles in Algebra 1, but you are going to have to memorize them. And so there are two triangles. One special is your 45, 45, 90. And if it helps, always draw a picture. So I'm going to, a 45, 45, 90 has two legs that are the same. So these are both 1, 1, and this is square root 2. Now the reason this is square root 2 is because to find the hypotenuse, right, I would do um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This would give me 2 equals c squared. I would take the square root, and guess what I would get for c? The square root of 2. So this isn't being made up. Um, the It's root 2 because that's how you would find your hypotenuse. So this is your 45, and this is 45. But this picture of this triangle, you need to memorize that. 1, 1, root 2, okay? The next type of special triangle is a 30... 60, 90. And in a 30, 60, 90, we have something called a short leg, a long leg, and your hypotenuse. And they have a very special relationship. So here's my, the larger angle should be 60, the involving the short leg and the hypotenuse. The smaller angle is, or your acute, uh, the real small one is 30 degrees. Now here's the relationship. The short is one. Now the hypotenuse should be double. So double uh, or two times one would be two. So if I wanted to find the other leg, one squared plus b squared equals two squared. And so I'd have b squared equals three, right? Four take away one. And so I would have b is the root of three. So that's where I'm getting the root of three. And so we need to memorize those three sides. You need to memorize and where they're located. The short leg is 1, your long leg is root 3, and your hypotenuse is 2. So we are going to draw reference triangles. I don't want your answers in decimals. So we're going to draw our reference triangles and evaluate the following. And we're going to practice several. These are your reference triangles. You have two of them. Here's one, here's two. And you need to memorize both. So um, I'm going to do several examples with you. Part A, evaluate the tangent of 30. So when I see the tangent of 30, I'm going to automatically know that I'm dealing with a 30, 60, 90. I'm going to draw a little picture. I know 1, root 3, 2, right? Like the picture above. I know 30 degrees is here. So tangent of 30 is opposite over adjacent. So that would give me 1 over the root of 3. Now, you cannot leave a radical in the denominator. So I have to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3. And that process, that process is called rationalizing a denominator. So I'm gonna, this gives me 1 times root 3 is root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9. So this gives me root 3 over 3. I do not want your answer in decimals. It needs to be using our reference triangle and keeping it in the radical form. Okay? So part B, now again, you can pause the video and try one on your own. We are going to find the value of 7 times sine of 45 degrees. Now in your book, there won't be a multiplication symbol. It'll just simply say 7 times the sine of 45. So when I see that 45 degrees, I draw my 1, 1, root 2, triangle. So in all of these, I draw my reference triangle or I draw it one time at the top of my homework or at the top of my test. Okay, I know this is 90. 
So the sine of 45, so I have seven times the sine of 45 degrees. So I'm gonna simplify this, it does it, and we'll talk about does it matter which 45? No, because both are gonna give me one over the root of two, because I have opposite over hypotenuse, or if from this angle, opposite over hypotenuse. Doesn't matter, okay? So that gives me seven over root two. I cannot leave root two in denominator. So we are gonna rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by root two. So that gives me seven root two over root four, which is seven root two over two. And leave, do not write 3.5, two doesn't go into a seven, so just leave it. Um, part C, we are going to evaluate four root three times the cosine of 60 degrees. So notice this one involves 60. So I'm gonna draw my 30, 60, 90, So there's my 60 degree, here's my right angle, so I've got 1, 2, root 3. Okay, so this is really 4 thirds times the cosine of 60. So I'm going to simplify the cosine of 60, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse, so I'm using the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Okay, and this one I used these, and the one above I used these. So I, out here I still have four root three. So I'm gonna multiply these, that's four root three, right, over two, which gives me two root three. All right, next one, a couple more. That's what this whole section is on. There's no A, B, and C. It's simply you practicing evaluating using your reference triangles. So um, next one, evaluate 10 uh, over root 5 times the tangent of 45. All right, so right away I'm going to draw my 45 Again, you don't have to draw it every time. You're gonna learn you can write it once on the top of your homework and, and reference it. So if I draw my 45, 45, 90, I've got one, one, root two. So let's say I choose this angle. So this gives me 10 root five times the tangent of 45 degrees. The tangent of 45 degrees is one over one. So I have 10 root five times one over one, which just gives me 10 over root five. But I can't leave a root in my denominator. So I get 10 root five. Five times five is the square root of 25, which is five, so my answer is two root five. Okay. Next one, evaluate four, root three times the tangent of 30 degrees. So I'm gonna draw, since it referenced 30, my 30, 60, 90 triangle. So here is, right, that right there is your 30, because it's the smaller, this is 90. I have one, two, root three. So um, this equals four root three times the tangent of 30, the tangent of 30 would be 1 over root 3, and I'm multiplying that times 4 root 3, right? And there's an invisible 1 underneath. So if you look at this one, this one's nice, right? I have um, 4 root 3 over root 3. These cancel, and my answer is simply 4. So I hope you're watching the video. This isn't something we can just do on the study guides. We're gonna see this all year. So please try practicing these um, in your homework for lesson 20. Uh, go ahead and skip numbers six, 12, and 13, right? Because we skipped lots of sections, 22, 26, and 29. 
And that is it.